Hi there, it's Tracy, and thanks for stopping by today. The new Jilly Bean Soup Christmas Shape the Shaker series is full of festive goodness. Today, I'm creating a card using the tree card base and the tree shaker insert, along with the Winter Wishes stamp and die set. And then finally, I'm filling my shaker with the brand new shaker filler tree mix. So, let's get started. I started my card by first decorating the card front. Using my embossing buddy, I gave the card front a good wipe to minimize any stray embossing powder. I drew some blowing snow around the tree opening on the card using an embossing pen. Then I stamped a few snowflakes from the stamp set using Versamark embossing ink. I sprinkled white embossing powder all over the card front, tapped off the excess, and gently hit the embossing powder with my heat tool to minimize on the warping. I put a piece of white copy paper inside the card to protect it while I blended tumbled glass distress oxide ink over the embossed snow. I blended the ink with a light touch because I really didn't want the blue to end up too dark. Then I took a clean paper towel and I wiped the ink off the top of the embossed images to really make them pop. I set the panel aside so that I could start working on the stamping for the tree. I used my Misty to stamp a bunch of ornaments and Christmas lights using black Copic friendly ink. I always stamp a lot of images to color because it's always better to have too many than not enough. For the stamps I used more than once, I cleaned them off in between using a baby wipe. The stamps seem to dry quicker as I'm moving them and you don't get a water splotch where you don't want it, which you sometimes get when you're wiping your stamps with a stamp chamois. It takes a bit of time to stamp all the images out but believe me, it's so much easier to do it now rather than once you start assembling your card. The tree in this set is a larger image and also brand new, so very important to condition the stamp before adding ink to it. I like to rub the stamps on my palms to get that factory finish off. I inked up the tree stamp with green ink and closed the misty door. I keep a cloth handy to smooth the images down once the door is closed so I can apply a bit of pressure and hopefully get good ink transfer for a great impression. Because the images I'm coloring are so small, I didn't really need to do a lot of shading, so just some really quick coloring. I used a few alcohol ink markers to color with. Typically, I like to do all of my coloring before cutting my images out. I personally find it easier to manage, especially when the images are very tiny. Just a few more to finish up here and I'm done. I cut them out using the coordinating dies from the set and then I went to town and I trimmed the tree with all the cute lights and ornaments. I set the tree aside when I went on to prep the inside of the card that I lined with a piece of patterned paper from the new You Make Me So Happy collection. It's called Wakama and I think a perfect backdrop for the tree. I needed to make sure the tree was exactly behind the window on the front of the card, so I added adhesive to the back of the tree, closed the card, and put the tree in the window to line it up. So now for the fun part, filling the shaker. The inserts are so easy to fill. I first wiped the inside with my embossing buddy a bit to help reduce the static inside once it's been filled. I added a little bit of each of the three fillers from the mix into the shaker. The green sequins, the clear jewels, and the red foam balls. I mixed them up a bit to get a feel for how full my shaker would end up being, and then I set it aside while I went ahead and stamped my sentiment onto the front of the card. Once again, I conditioned my stamp, and then I stamped it with VersaFine Black Ink. That's my favorite ink to use for sentiments. I love how crisp and bold they turn out. However, I always use my Misty when stamping sentiments just in case I have to re-ink them. To place the shaker inside the card, I first use my embossing buddy over the tree and then place the insert into the card base and carefully peel the insert backing off. Then I lift the card up slightly, close it and gently press the edges around the cutout with my fingers before flipping the card over. Super cute and so easy. Thanks so much for creating with me today and we'll see you next time.